Hell yeah. Let's go, Bourbon Quest. It's your host, Bourbon Steve. Oh, shoot. All right. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do another video. Uh, if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button. That helps the channel out. And then you want to do yourself a favor, ring that bell for notifications. And um, that way you don't miss a damn thing here on Bourbon Quest because who knows what the hell we're going to do. Uh, leave a comment, smash that like button. It helps the YouTube algorithms to get it out to more people. Um, yeah, definitely shoot me a comment. Let me know of uh, some show ideas that you have, uh, whether it be uh, a flight you want to see. Why does it, it look so dark? Uh, a flight you want to see. Um, bottle you want to see if I've got it um, budget bourbon allocated bourbon whatever you name it I mean I just did a uh, bottled and bond battle I did a uh, ultra aged whiskey battle what else did I do recently something else but yeah some battles like that whether it be budgets allocated um, well, I already did Bottle to Bond, Ultra Aged. Um, I'm probably going to, I guess one idea I've got to do is some flavored whiskeys. Um, although I'm not a big flavored whiskey fan. Um, and maybe I should, maybe flavored whiskey uh, flight, finished whiskey flight. Maybe a cocktail or two. We've, I don't know what else to do on cocktails. Everything I do with cocktails is going to be related to bourbon because um, we did bourbon Rita's, bloody bourbons, whatever. You get the idea. Whiskey sours, of course your old fashioned, your Manhattan, whatever. Uh, but yeah, any show ideas that you've got, uh, maybe we should just drink from the Infinity bottle one night. We should do that too. I haven't done, I don't think I've done a, a video of just drinking the Infinity bottle changes but right in the last time i had it which is maybe a week ago it was really good which is probably like well there's two infinity bottles because we've got overflow because i need to get some people over here to help me drink them uh but there's probably uh, a combination of over 300 bottles um in the infinity bottles um and then of course starting december the first that why you, that's why you want to ring that bell for notifications because uh, we'll be doing uh, an advent calendar. The first video will go up December 1st all the way up through Christmas. Uh, we'll be doing 25 whiskeys in 25 days. I don't know where the hell Q is, but anyways, Q will be on here every day uh, starting December 1st through the 25th because I got him a cat treat advent calendar. So bourbon steve will get a whiskey treat and q will get a cat treat <laughs> all right so anyways kind of running out of ideas but i had a couple bottles that i've been meaning to open pick these up a couple weeks ago up in uh louisville at the evan williams experience it's uh i actually don't think there's any difference on this other than just the packaging but it's uh evan williams kentucky's first distiller 86 proof lets you take a look other than the fancy wax job on the top i think it's i don't think there's any difference between this and your regular evan williams black label now this um i also got there is uh evan williams master blend which i think is only available at the evan williams experience in louisville uh kentucky straight bourbon whiskey it is 90 proof and i'll i'll yeah, let me show you that one. Nice label, nice wax job. But I picked those both up. Um, let's read here, see if there's anything in here. Um, Evan Williams signature, as it appeared on 18th century distillation license. Evan Williams set up his distillery on the banks of the Ohio River in 1783 and is historically recognized as Kentucky's first distiller of bourbon. This special bourbon is a genuine sour mash that honors his pioneer heritage. The Evan Williams Bourbon Experience 
located along Louisville's historic Whiskey Row and directly across from the riverfront location of Evan Williams' original distillery pays tribute to the legacy of Kentucky's first commercial distiller and the history and tradition of America's native spirit. So, nothing on any of that leads me to believe it's anything other than your regular Evan Williams that you can buy at your local liquor store other than it's fancy sexy wax top but nonetheless we'll see gosh dang it well it may look pretty but it's not very functional what the fuck there we go I don't even remember. I honestly don't even remember how much I paid for these. I mean, they weren't expensive. I know at least the black label one wasn't. That one might have been 40, 50 bucks. I don't remember. Uh, and I don't even think it's going to be an uncorking. I think it's going to be an untwisting. Mm -hmm. wah, wah, wah. Yeah, untwisting. You know, you get this sexy wax top and then you don't even put a freaking cork in it. Come on, man. Alright, we'll get us a little pour there. Um, yeah, we're into now the overflow, overflow, overflow decanter. Come on, George, come on over and drink some of this shit so I can get rid of these decanters. Alright, uh, so always on Bourbon Quest, we got a nice little two ounce pour into our infinity bottle. All right, and then let's read and look at this white label, and which is, now this, let's see, Whiskey Row, the Evan Williams Bourbon Experience located along Louisville's historical Whiskey Row and directly across from the riverfront location of Evan Williams' original distillery, pays tribute to the legacy of Kentucky's first commercial distillery and the history and tradition of America's native spirit. It says the exact same thing as the other one. Masterful blend, a masterful blend of five various Evan Williams expressions. Each of these well-crafted bourbons have been married together to form a rare and unique bottling of bourbon. The Evan Williams family includes four different American whiskey types, all represented and expertly mingled to form a distinctive quality bourbon worthy of the Evan Williams name. So that's what this master blend is. Man. I think when I was at the distillery, it gave like, it was like the black label, the red label 12 year. I don't even know what all they were. All right, nonetheless, master blend. I'm excited about this one. It is 90 proof. And again, your fancy wax top here. Probably another unscrewing. It looks like it. Womp womp. Womp 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 womp. On screen. That's a shame. Alright, we got our pour. Again, our infinity bottle pour. Alright, let's taste them up. Hey, let me know, Bourbon Quest, if you've had. Um, either one of these uh, yeah let me know what your comments and thoughts are on them um, and I'm about to let you know mine so we'll start with the uh, black label here I mean very sweet definitely get that corn vanilla caramel a little bit of spice cheers the nose is really good Looks awful dark. Mm. Wow. I know it's only 86 proof, but it drinks higher than that. It drinks more like 96. I think that's. Man. Yeah, both on the nose and on the palate. I don't think this is. I, I'm, I'm probably wrong. This is not your typical Evan Williams that you find at your local liquor store. 
That's just really damn good. Yeah. Bam. I get that spice, that caramel, the vanilla, the corn. Very sweet. That's pretty damn good. Probably should bring out a regular Evan Williams Black Label, but because I think this is better than what you find at your local liquor store. Well, it's granted the Evan Williams Black Label is like I don't know, twelve, fourteen bucks, um, which I think is a great uh, value budget bourbon. Uh, probably one of one at least one of my favorites under twenty bucks is the uh, Evan Williams Black Label. And this is a notch up. Cheers. Mm. Yeah. Man, it's that sweet, that spice. It's like a... What do I want to say? It's like a... Uh, I don't know if it's because I got this on my mind or not, but it, it, it's got that kind of uh if you ever go to um panda express and get their original orange chicken it's got a little bit of that orange chicken flavor to it i know that sounds weird but that's what i get like panda express orange chicken in a glass that's what that is panda express original orange chicken in a glass that's i can dig it I might have to pair that with some uh, Panda Express orange chicken. Stay hydrated, my friends. All right, now, the one I really want to get to is this Master Blend. Very well balanced on the nose. Like... Nothing is really coming through as the uh, front runner on this. It's very, very well balanced on the nose. I mean, there's spice, there's orange, vanilla, but very well balanced on the nose. Oak. Mm. All right. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. Oh. Wow, man, that that's sweet, very viscous for a ninety proofer. You definitely get that oak, that barrel char. That's amazing. This is really really good. The nose is so well balanced. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, there's that sweet, that spice, that uh, oak, the barrel char. Man, I would say if you're ever in Louisville, go to the Evan Williams Experience, pick both of these up. Um, highly recommend both of them for what they're priced at. And man, those are super, super good. I wish these were more both of them i wish were more readily available outside of uh, the uh, evan williams bourbon experience in louisville but if you're in louisville go by there pick these up and then if you get a chance to pick up the um, red label 12 year that's also highly recommended it's a little bit i don't even know what it's priced at anymore more like 150 bucks or something but it's worth it these are this is i want to say like 20 definitely under 30 this one might be more like 50 or 60 regardless they're they're both a thumbs up absolutely man yeah and i think it's only available at the um, evan williams uh experience in louisville like i don't even think they ever have these or release these at uh, 
at Heaven Hill in uh, Bardstown. I'm glad I picked these up. Glad I opened them tonight because I was didn't really have anything planned or needed to open or review and I'd had these probably for a couple months and been wanting to experience them and so I'm sharing it with you here tonight and they're both freaking fantastic especially this is awesome and I think this has like some 23 year old in it don't quote me on that but let me know leave a comment subscribe smash that like button and ring that bell because December's coming we're doing the advent calendar Q will be on here he'll be getting a cat treat I'll be getting a whiskey treat and then right after Christmas we'll be doing blind flights Oh, I need to find out if I can get that. I don't know. We'll be doing blind flights to determine our uh, whiskey of the year. I'm not that excited about this year. There's only like, I mean, there's several that are really, really, really good. I mean, I probably got like at least right now, I have to go double check. There's probably between 20 to 25 bottles that are can compete. But honestly, I think there's only two or three that I think are front runners for Whiskey of the Year. And there's one, and I'm not even going to mention it because I've already mentioned it before and I'm supposed to be getting it. And they have it, they won't release it, they can't get a price on it, which fucking boggles my mind. It's ridiculous. They've had it for over three months. And hopefully I can get that bottle by the end of the year to include it because I think it obviously would be worthy. I don't think it's going to happen, but maybe it will. I really don't even care at this point because I got last year's. Yeah, stay tuned. You'll find out what I'm talking about. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know. Do you have a hint on what it is? It's one I got last year. One I was already supposed to get this year, and for, you know, corporate America's bullshit, I haven't gotten it, but this is good. <laughs> Cheers, Bourbon Quest. Oh, hell yeah. Mm. Well, the next time I'm in Louisville, I'll be sure to pick me up another one of these, because... That's, these are the only ones I have. We just cracked them, we popped them, we tasted them, and they're worthy of buying again. So stay hydrated. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. See you all month of December, which is really, really soon. Love you guys. And remember, as always, that my wish for you is that all your Bourbon Quest dreams come true. Ha <laughs> ha! Where you at, Q? That's a wrap, bro.